Gentlemen, it's that time of the year the Madden Ultimate Team starts to get really scary. The first ever 96 overall limiteds have dropped. There's 96 Super Bowl Pass, the limited Cam Chancellor. He's selling for two and a half million coins. A 6'3", 225 pound strong safety with 98 hit power. He's got 97 zone. He's got 96 speed. And I guarantee he gets absolutely insane abilities. This is probably my favorite card in the game. And if I can pull him today, I will go absolutely insane. There's another limited. This one from Michigan State University. It's Plaxico Burris. Limited wide receiver. Dude, there's so many insanely good wide receivers in the game. Obviously, Plaxico is nuts because he's 96 speed, but he's also 6'5". Catching traffic and spec are off the charts. Another insane card. But I got to say, that Cam Chancellor is something else. That's who we're looking for. There's also 595 overalls. There's Doug Williams, Ronnie. Lot, Terrell Davis, Herb Adderley, Andrew Whitworth, Warren Sapp. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here in Vegas, actually, for the Super Bowl. So I want to give you my prize picks entries. Prize picks currently has a free Patrick Mahomes square. He needs half a passing yard. And I'm pairing that with Debo Samuel more than on receiving yards. So prize picks is my daily fantasy sports sponsor. And if you download with the link in the top of the description and use the promo code MMG, you'll get a deposit match up to $100. So I'm rooting on Mahomes to get a yard. And I'm rooting on Debo to have a great game in the Super Bowl. Should be awesome. I'll be there. Can't wait. Use that promo code MMG. Play responsibly. Take care, y'all. These cards are obviously incredible, too. You just need 592 overall players, which is actually pretty realistic, so wouldn't be too hard to get our hands on one of these guys for the Pack and Play squad. This is the Pack and Play team, and this will probably be one of the last episodes with this team. This team is way too good. Honestly, I'm just at God Squad levels at this point, so I should probably reset the squad, and we can start to build a new one. Cam Chancellor, what's hilarious is Cam Chancellor is actually not that great of an addition to this team because this Julius Peppers is still one of the most broken mutt cards that's ever existed. It's a six foot seven strong safety with Lurk Artist. You can't throw the ball within a fucking 100 foot radius of this guy without him intercepting it. So that's weird to say. Cam Chancellor's 2.5 million coins and he still isn't crazy on this team and then my wide receivers are so nuts. I don't know how much I care about Plaxico Burris, but we're gonna try and pull him anyway. We'll definitely pick him up for the squad and then I'll reset this team for next time i may also do like a 10 million coin team builder i talked about last time who cares i'm yapping let's get after it we'll start with ea's new favorite method to milk my fucking money the either or pack right so you get two 86 pluses and then you get either a 92 or a 95 plus i love how ea just decides to give you a gigantic middle finger who's running the math on this why is it 49 percent? why would you not make that 50 are you just being a fucking asshole because I don't know why else you would do it. Whatever. Let's go. You get my you get my money anyway. You already know it. Fuck you. All right. 286 pluses, then a 92 or a 95 or better. Animation goes hard. They know they get my ass every time with that. I will be in Las Vegas. I will be at the Super Bowl. So I want to know your guys' predictions as well. We get two Noah Grays. Thank you so much, EA. This tight end wouldn't have been good when the game came out. 92 or 95 plus. Honestly, I have to imagine that the 92 overall has the same animation animation as these guys so i need to see a different animation come on baby come on baby new animation new animation 95 we'll take it Dude, definitely one of the sickest animations they've done this year. 95 Doug Williams. Honestly, this is an insane pickup. He's probably not better than CJ Stroud, and I want to use CJ Stroud anyway. So I won't keep him, but this is an amazing pull to get the 95. is massive. It's not Cam Chancellor, but it's a nasty pull. There's two things left for us. We've got four 90-plus elites and then three 89-plus Super Bowls. This is actually pretty cheap for three 89-pluses. The odds to get Cam Chancellor here, I think, are just so low, though. Now, there are training rerolls as well. There are 86 pluses. Rerolls have been so bad this year. I think it's kind of a lost cause, but back in Madden 22 was when rerolls were really good. And you could do rerolls every week, and it was really funny. You had a really good chance at the limiteds, but they have since really nuked rerolls, which is a bummer. So I'm not going to waste my training there. Not unless I'm live streaming, but we get 490 pluses. Or I'm sorry, we get to pick four out of here. We get Brian Branch. That's a good start. Darnell Routes. Ooh, hopefully a 93 or better. Skaronski's huge right there. Most feared. No, that's a 90 guaranteed, so that's trash. And this is probably trash, too. 
certainly could have been better, but take a look at the odds on this. So there's an 8% chance to get a 92 plus overall or better. And that is not good odds. 89 plus, this is probably an 89 every time. Even the 92s will likely have the same animation. Let's see if we can pull a 92 so I can test that theory. This Super Bowl bundle is so ass. 10 Super Bowl packs and four 92 pluses? Suck my balls. Now, I am going to do the re-rolls. I'm going to do about 10 of these just for fun. I have a very strong feeling they're ass, though, so I don't recommend it. <laughs> All right, so I just spent 76,000 training, and in return, I'm getting... Dude, it actually nuked 75% of the training I just used. Now, obviously, yeah, if you pull Camp Chance, it's insane, but those odds are so dog shit. These are, are actually horrible. Do not open those. Well, in my defense, this is the last episode with this pack and play team. So we might as well go grab Cam Chancellor Black Scoberis and then we'll just sell them and they don't get to say on the squad. All right, 96 limited Cam Chancellor. We start there and now we go pick up Plaxico. Plaxico is cheaper, 2.1. Both these guys, disgustingly good. All right, let's start out by looking at Plaxico Burris. Now, there are some new things about these cards, really interesting things. You can earn a Super Bowl Past Light It Up upgrade token. On level 10 of the Super Bowl Field Pass, you get this for free, if you were wondering. This would get Plaxico plus one speed and plus one Excel. And then they also have these new X factors called Light it up x factors so i would need that strategy item to unlock this i don't have the strategy item but these are really really good this is deep elite for zero ap i know it's kind of confusing because it's an x factor but then this is just wide receiver apprentice for zero ap and this is grab and smash for one ap and they stay on the entire game super super op x factors but even without that since obviously i haven't worked on the field pass since this promo just dropped he's got mid in elite and short in elite for one deep elite for two evasive for one yeah jeez, these abilities are nasty yeah we're really getting into the end game i'm gonna give him short in elite for one ap wide receivers really don't need that much abilities wise but I, I am gonna give him double me as well that's the thing though if you run one of these lighted up x factors you can't run double me double me obviously is very difficult to activate but you get my point all right 96 cam chancellor is up now same thing for him if you have the item you can give it to him they get the x factors all game he also gets a speed and excel boost his lighted ups he's got enforcer supreme which is that ability that the season pass ray lewis gets i still to this day have not used this ability i can't wait to try it avalanche for the entire game is fucking diabolical uh no wonder cam chancer is so expensive avalanche for the entire game should be illegal and then dual threat lighted up not sure how good this ability is if any of you have ever used it let me know it's a new x factor this year to be honest if you have this camp chancellor you need to run avalanche it's the most overpowered ability in this game and he gets free pick artists he has double discounted abilities oh my god we are back to madden 23 this is how madden 22 and madden 23 were so many oh no i'm actually scared we're really in the fucking end game no hey we've got a little bit of time boys we really do we've got like i don't know we got like a month and a half till it gets horrible if Mutt isn't bad enough. All right, uh, let's activate Camp Chancellor. That's two AP. We'll activate Carmichael, which is for free. And then offensively, we just got to activate Plaxico for one AP. I'm going to take one AP off Skaronsky. We'll activate Plaxico Burris for a 93 overall. Let's go hop into a game, boys. We just dropped 5 million coins on two players. Holy shit. Look at that. Top three, baby. I'm kind of sad that Cam's not on the top three, though. He's got Steven Nelson, Jalen Hurst, Julio. That is an Eagles themed team, and we're playing at Lincoln Financial. I need one good reason why I don't just air this shit out to Plaxico Burris on the opening play. Give me one good reason. I gotta air this up to Plaxico. He's double covered. I don't give a shit. Let's go, Plax! Bro. Dude, honestly, like, that ball was uncatchable by anyone but his safety. I think Plaxico Burris forgot that he's six foot five. Uh, he also forgot to jump despite aggro catching that. We get the user Cam Chancellor in the middle. Although, usering Cam Chancellor in the middle is completely wasting his deep zone KO though so maybe we don't put him so now Julius Peppers is the user and Cam Chancellor playing in that purple right there I really like this first and ten let's see what he's got he's gonna throw low second and one he could go half back oh oh I knocked it out Ow. honestly nasty play I thought I'd get maybe get the interception not sure what he's looking for here I don't see anything 
Jalen Hurts goes down. It's fourth and eight. This could be a really big stop. Okay, he's just gonna go for it. He's gotta see something, right? Okay, I don't have a, I somehow don't have a blue over there. Oh, that is absolutely bagged. We got the SWAT anyway. Hey, ball back. Great defense. All right, I'm going to block James Cook. I'm going to send Travis Kelsey across his face. Hopefully, he'll take Travis Kelsey. And we can go to the boy Plaxico. That's such a bad ball. Just kidding. It's a great ball. It's a pickup of three yards. Not sure what I want here. Just going to go James Cook. Sorry, Plaxico. It wasn't in the cards, buddy. All right, first and 10 here. All righty, you gotta love that right tackle play right there. I dropped back into infinity to block nobody. All right, second and ten. I don't, I don't know what I want here. That's a bad check down. Really bad check down. Ooh, I'm playing scared. Why am I scared? Let's play big boy football. I'm going Plaxico. I'm gonna fucking find him. He's six foot five. Damn it! Find him. Let's go! Fourth and two! That's what I'm saying. We're gonna find him. It's that simple. I'm gonna block Kelsey. I don't know who's gonna be open. I don't know if anybody's open. Let's go, Stroud. I'm throwing to X. He's all over it. Good defense. Good defense. It's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be a defensive game. First and ten. I don't think he has anything. Oh, wow. What a ball. Huge hit out of KM Chancellor. 98 hit power. Dude, I just want to use Plaxico Burris. I don't want to run the ball. I have a feeling we could probably run the ball pretty well. Just don't want to, you know? Left side. He has the left side so open. Cam, Cam, Cam. Let's get a big strip. Ooh. All right. First and 10. We know he's passing. What's he got here? Is that open? It sure isn't. Tariq Woolen. Oh, you got to house this? Tariq! Wollen! That's a disgusting interception. Let's put Plaxico in the backfield. Hold up, I think I have this. I can go Debo package, wide receiver, one backfield, Plaxico handoff. Yep. All right, Plaxico Burris. We believe! We don't believe. None of us believe. Nobody believes. All right, six to zero. A very defensive game. There's been three turnovers and one pick six. Somebody's offense has got to get it figured out. And whoever does that first is going to win this ball. He's going to throw halfback. Come on, you're predictable, buddy. I'm sitting here saying that he's predictable like he didn't just get nine yards. Hey, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This defense is playing so well. Let's just put Hutchinson on a light blue so he can't do that again. Oh, he's going to hand it off. Cam Chancellor just got bounced? I refuse to believe that. I'm gonna go for the blitz here. No, I won't. It's a prank. Could go half back again. Oh, that's a... I was gonna say that's a scary ball, but it worked. I'm gonna go on Gronk and grab the half back here. Ooh, little RPO. We are not getting off our blocks. But we are getting a big hit out of Malik Cooker. Nice work. First and 10. Why is Ernest Jones the user? That is not what you want at all. Is this RPO? Hey, Carmichael, second and 17. I'm sending the blitz. Does he go halfback? He sure does. Oh, I missed? Dude, Cam Chancellor is getting bodied by Miles Sanders. Hello? That's the second broken tackle out of that man. I refuse to believe it. RPO, maybe? Run play, maybe? At this point, I just don't know, gentlemen. Let's find out. Third and three. Cross drag. I know this play. Nice ball. All the way across the field. I don't know how nobody's there. Need a goal line stop at this point. This one is an RPO again. Great job by Gronk. He doesn't see the blitz. Didn't matter. Damn, I got to take that. Nice play. All right, gentlemen, we need a great drive light here. Let's see if we can start out with a great kickoff. Oh, well, kick return. That was solid. Out to the 27. We'll take every yard we can get. All right, I'm sorry, Plaxico Burris. I know it's your video, but I can't stare you down anymore. I've thrown two interceptions doing it. I got to play real football here. There's Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Just in case you didn't know who he was. So he's got the underneath sort of covered. I don't know how to describe it. Second and nine. I do have Plaxico here. I didn't force it that time either. And that was, that was a good way to hang on to it. His user could have gotten that, but he didn't. All right, I need to make his user make a decision here. You can take Plaxico or you can take James Cook. It's up to you, sir. He's going to take... 
I guess he took he took either of them on that one. I could have gone Plaxico. First and ten. This is a nice drive. No interceptions this time. Let's go inside zone. Haven't ran the ball at all. Let's see if we can do it effectively. Ooh, dude, you're fucking kidding me, right? Oh, that was such an easy run play. That's frustrating. All right, second and nine. Looking at Plaxico. Bro. There's... What the fuck? Dude, we're getting hoed right now. This is frustrating. Third and nine. I'm going quick throw Zay Flowers. Who catches it? He calls a timeout. Ah, he doesn't want me scoring before half. Understandable. Gonna go right side stretch here. Cut this up the middle. Take a good two yards. He'll call a timeout here. Second and eight. We honestly could throw this to Plaxico. Run this to the right side. Hey, nice work. Third and four. And he's going to let me chew the clock. Boom. Got the clock down to 10 seconds and we'll call a timeout now. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now we got to go for the end zone. I'm going to call a bunch of fake audibles and then I'm going to run this. He doesn't have abilities up there. We should be able to run inside zone. Third and four. Let's go. Ooh, great user play. Fourth and three, seven seconds left. I'm gonna take my field goal. Take a two point lead here. We've got a pick six and a field goal. No offensive touchdowns yet. Could not run the ball against him there. Okay, so he keeps running the RPO on this, right? Or no, cross drag. And he keeps throwing the left side. I gotta go cover that. That's the second, that's the second, second, third, fourth time he's done that. I have to cover that myself. Let's see if he audibles to the same thing. Looks like it's the same thing, other side. Oh! <laughs> no RPOs today, big guy! <laughs> that was a nasty adjustment. I was using Gronk that entire time, but he came out in that same RPO set. This is how he scored that touchdown on me earlier. And lurked that shit with Carmichael. Oh, that's disgusting. Two pick sixes. Who needs offense when you got a great defense? So same thing. This is the play he ran before. He's going to hit the tight end, or he's going to try. Oh, no. Big juke coming. Ooh. Aw. Aw. Dude just became ethereal. How did he just glitch through me? He's got the corner out. It's a great ball. Yeah, he's got to move the ball quick because he's down two possessions. I'm going to try and disguise the blitz here. <laughs> I did. I disguised it well. He's got the left side. Fuck, he keeps getting that, though. Juke. He stepped out. Thank God he would have had that first. Third and two. All right, let's try and play the underneath here. I'm on Peppers. He's going to hand this off. Damn. Looked like we were ready to play that, but everyone pinched the middle. He's got to throw this. Or this is RPO again. It's RPO. He's scared now. He should have thrown it, but he's scared to throw that shit. When you throw a pick six on it, you do get scared to throw it. Probably just wants a corner route. We've got a lot of shit covered, though, at this point. He's going to step up. Boom! F he got dragged forward for about three, too. That's crazy. Third and three is going to go RPO here. We just had to be ready for it. Or maybe not. I don't know what he's in at this point. I'm on this. Great defense! Gronk sacks him. Fourth and 12, and he is going for it. Okay, everybody's playing pass has to get this that is so not open let's go it had a small chance it really wasn't open i'm just gonna hand this off to james cook he pinches his d-line he knows i'm gonna hand this off dude i don't know why he's getting such insane block sheds but i actually just can't run the ball we've got the numbers there all right second and 11 gonna stretch this right side cut it up where carmichael vacated and james cook has fucking concrete yours oh james cook you're about to get fucking sold buddy i think i had james cook over the middle here though and we're good there he is beauty and he got the first james cook redemption end of the third quarter nine point lead i wonder if plaxico gets open here What is with the blocks? Is this like a nano blitz that I don't understand? I am blocking seven people against four and I'm getting lasered untouched every time. Look at this. He just glitches up the middle while everybody blocks nobody. Ah, uh, yeah. This just must be something I don't understand very well. All right, then. All right. We got out of it that time. Can we make the play? DPI. <laughs> got a DPI. All right, I can't bitch about a damn thing anymore. We are even. We are now even. You got two nano blitzes. I got a DPI. 
I don't even know if that would make us even, to be honest. I feel like I, I kind of, I think I make out a little better in that exchange. Oh, I'm going over his head free form. And that was literally one of the worst balls I've ever seen, CJ Straub. Set feet, too. Zay Flowers is getting open on this corner route, dude. He's got fucking Teddy Boy Hendrix on him. Fuck it. We ball. <laughs> oh my god, Zay Flowers! That was disgusting! Alright. Yeah, I would be so mad. You could not... Oh my god. You would not hear the end of it from me. I'm gonna max protect. I'm looking for Plex go over the top. He's not there. CJ Stroud luckily is able to get rid of that ball. Looking for Zay Flowers potentially here. Don't need it. I'm taking that check down every time because we can't move the damn rock. Let's go, James Cook. Actually, this is, you know what's funny? This base four vertical is a really good play because Carmichael is supposed to guard Kelsey and Cook here. He'll probably take Cook this time and we go Kelsey. No. Don't throw it, Matt. Oh, you know how, you know how bad I wanted to fucking throw that to James Cook and I would have thrown it in reception. Clock is on our side, gentlemen. It's on our side. James Cook, that was the most pitiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. He just fake pretended to block for like three seconds and then, look at this shit. What are you doing? Can we watch that again? He actually faked out my quarterback. He pretended to block the guy that sacked me and then ran his route. All right, third and 16. Just can't make a big mistake here. Kind of like that, Matt. Quit. That is the most horse shit catch I've had in a long time. I threw that straight at your DB. And Plaxico Burst just boxed you out, sucked your balls, and caught that shit. You have to quit. What did he say? It's over. This game's over. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. It's over. First and 10, though. Can I hit Zay? Ooh. Ooh. Take five yards right there. We keep the clock ticking. No, he uses his timeout here. At this point, it would come down to an onside kick if I didn't score a touchdown. If I score a touchdown, the game is over. I could go Zay Flowers again, I'm pretty sure. No. Ted Hendricks got straight through that. That would have been absolutely horrible if I had thrown that ball. I would have been on the verge of losing again. Third and eight. We could go end zone if we really want to. Gonna bring Zay Flowers over. Give him a corner out. And let's make a read. Plaxico. Get fucked. Honestly, that was the only ball that I feel like Plaxico actually should have caught. I have a two-possession lead. I definitely go for this. If I can get this, the game's over, over. If I can't, he's only got a single timeout. But he might have just left Zay Flowers. He did. No, he didn't. That's a pick six, Matt. Do you know what that actually is? That's a really good arm punt. That is actually an arm punt dot. He is on the literal one-yard line. That was a arm punt, and it was perfect. Oh, if he had caught that in stride coming towards me, though, that's a pick six. So absolutely, utterly horrifying play right there. But let's see what he goes with. Could go underneath to his running back. I don't see him having anything here. He doesn't have anything here. <gasps> no! It happened to both of us. I can't even be mad, bro. I did that same shit. I thought that was picked. Holy shit, he's out of bounds. That's insane. No way this is a game. No way this is losable, right? Get home! Almost got the sack, which would have kept the clock running. That's the big part of that. But since we didn't get it, we're just going to drop back into a regular formation. And Gronk does have avalanche. I'm going to put... I'm not getting a lot of pressure when I do this. But we do. We cover all of his checkdowns. And all of those checkdowns can get out of bounds, which we can't let happen. I've got... No way. You're playing... You're in a deep blue and you're playing outside. There's a purple and they're playing outside. How the fuck is a corner out of He's going to motion to see if I'm in man. Yep. And now he thinks it's zone because nobody adjusted. Now we switch to the man blitz without telling him. Oh no, the corner out. <laughs> he had the corner out for a touchdown. Just got to know where he's going. Just got to feel it. 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 Dude, I literally knew he was doing that, and I didn't go follow it. What am I doing? Two possession leads huge here. One kneel, timeout. Another kneel, another kneel. I actually can't fully milk the clock. I only get 30 seconds to run it down. I think he had just regular kicks this. No, he's going to onside it. Okay. Huge. Puka Nakua, you got to step up so big right here. Okay, that's me. <gasps> 
Oh my god, I'm gonna lose to an onside kick. Second and ten. We need the biggest defensive plays of our lifetime. Okay, you know what he's doing? He knows I'm blitzing, and then he's blocking his halfback. So if I just blitz Gronk, there's nobody blocking him. Yup! Oh, no way, and he's still got that off. I was trying to punch that ball out. First and ten, so he's in field goal range now. Maybe I fake that and then go for the lurk. I don't really know what he's going for at this point. Just goes for the uh, RPO, second and seven. I'm not going to call a timeout. I tried telling Flair Drip that this game was over, but he told me something else, dude. He told me that shit ain't even close. Third and 11. He kind of needs to convert this, though. Gun tight, offset tight end. So this is where he threw the corner route last time. I'm just going to go take it away with Chancellor. 15's kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! This is one of the wildest games I've ever played. I had 167 yards, no touchdowns, and a W! Dude, what was that throw? What is he doing? GG's. He probably doesn't want to hear a GG's from me right now, but that was on him, bro. He got the onside kick. He had the opportunity through a bad ball. Should not have thrown that. All right, gentlemen. Absolutely insane episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. These Super Bowl pass limits are disgusting. They're so good. Say goodbye to this pack and play squad, though. It's been an amazing ride. This team is full of absolutely dominant studs. But it's about time we sell this team, restart, get some new players on the team, and um, have some fun. All right. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.